everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to introduce the funding kit, the Ropa kit. As you can see, it contains two servos. This one is to control the open and close of the pole. And this one is to control the head shaking of the pole. You can operate like this to turn it around. This kind of pole is especially designed for the hobbies of the mechanical arms, robots, and smart cars. By operating these two servos, you can use this port to pick up objects at a distance. As you can see, there are some self-locking arts on the acrylic plates. They are to make the port more stable than others. Next, I will introduce the necessary components for the kit. A set of the acrylic plate, two servos and their accessories. These are all the nuts and screws of different sizes. A M3 cross socket wrench for you to fasten the self-locking nuts. The 3M tape. The single pass copper standard. These are all the components we have provided for you to assemble the kit. However, you still need to prepare an Arduino board, a Phillips screwdriver, a USB cable, and some jumper wires. In the following part, I'm going to show how to assemble it. Now, let's get started. First, remove the sticker on the acrylic plates. Align the servo with the servo fixing plate. Get the rotating axis close to the outside. Put the M2 nuts underneath the servo fixing holes and hold the nuts. Fasten the M2 by 8 screws. Then fasten the other screw in the same way. By now, the servo has been fixed successfully. Put the servo gear, which is in the same bag with the servo, onto the joint connecting plate. Screw the 6 M1.2 by 4 self-tamping screws into the servo gear. Put the other servo gear onto the driving gear and fix with 4 M1.2 by 4 screws. Connect the Arduino board to the computer with the USB cable. Input soundfounder.com and click learn get tutorial. Find the Ropo V1.0 and download the package and unpack it. There is an installation menu in instruction in PDF. Click Arduino code, basic, servo, then double click servo.ino. If you cannot open this file, it indicates that you have not installed the Arduino IDE. Please click 3w.arduino.cc Download to download and install the Arduino IDE according to your computer system. Back to the window. After uploading the code, you need to choose the correct board and port. Here we choose UNO board 
and the COM15 report. Then upload the code. When there is a done uploading in the window, it indicates the successful uploading. Insert the servo into the Arduino board. The brown one connects to GND, red one connects to 5V port, and the orange one to number 4 port. Then insert the servo into the servo gear of the joint connecting plate. Fix the servo and the joint connecting plate with the shortest of the three screws which is in the same bag with the servo gear. Pull out the servo. Insert the servo fixing plate into the joint connecting plate and fix them with M3 by 10 screws. Insert the servo fixing plate into the Arduino board. The brown one connects to GND, red one to 5V port, and the orange one to number 5 port. Insert the servo gear plate into the rotating axis of the servo. Pay attention to parallel the two sides. Connect them with the shortest of the three screws in the same bag with the servo gear. Pull out the servo. Insert the M3 by 8 screws into the servo fixing plate. Put the gasket into the screws and fix with the M3 by 10 plus 6 copper standoffs. Insert another gear plate into the copper standoff and fix with the M3 self-locking nut. Insert two M3 by 20 screws in the servo fixing plate from low to top and put the white gaskets on it. Put the six acrylic plates on the two screws one by one and fasten with M3 self-locking nut. Put the rest acrylic plates on the gear plate. Fasten them with M3 self-locking nuts.
for anti-sleep concern. Here we recommend to use the 3M tape. Cut the 3M tape into two small squares and paste them on the pole to pick up the building block. We need to make a potential ometer to control the pole here. Certainly, it's just a simple display of the pole's functions. The pole can be applied in the smart cars and the robot series such as the mechanical arm.